Hello everyone and welcome back to our backyard garden. Well, before I harvest some of this lettuce here, I want to make this video to show you guys um, and give you guys some update on some of the stuff that we are growing. So we in the we almost at the end of January. Uh, still winter, but a very mild winter so far. It's not very cold. Uh, we still have about 40 plus degree at nighttime and daytime can be 72 degrees. So, so this is a really nice and warm uh, weather for growing a lot of vegetable. So here I have my uh, gourmet uh, lettuces. So today I'm gonna harvest some of this. They are roughly about six to eight inches now. Nice and beautiful and very tall. Uh, lettuce do very well in the cool climate. Uh, especially fall and even through the mild winter like Southern California. So today I'm going to cut some of this. Um, this is a quite a lot of lettuces if you if you ever grow lettuce. It looks like not very much but once you start cutting them down uh, you can fill up two or three of this basket. Now this basket is about maybe 14 inches in diameter so I, I expect to have this one and the bottom to fill. All right, so this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to harvest this today. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some other stuff here. Uh, so here's another update on our cauliflower and our broccoli. Uh, the last time I showed you guys, uh, in the last video, uh, there were some flower bud on the broccoli. Uh, and there weren't much action on the cauliflower. But just... As I expected, they are, look at this. This is cauliflower, it's beautiful. Uh, the flower buds may be over two inch in diameter now. But it can grow a little bit bigger, much bigger. And this one is also producing, let me see. Okay, so only two so far, two, uh, two out of six are producing right now. Uh, and I just added some compost, a uh, little chicken manure here, uh, and I also, feed them some of the fish fertilizer so i just add that to give them a little more nutrients uh, the temperature like i said like i mentioned earlier uh, it's kind of warm so it's not too cold uh, so this all this vegetable here will do quite well all right uh also here on this little patch of area here uh, i will probably grow some of the beets that I normally grow. Beets do very well very well in this climate. Uh, as a matter of fact, they can grow actually for, you know, through the year round in, in this kind of weather in California. So I will definitely grow it here in this patch here. Uh, what else I want to show you? Oh, yeah, interestingly, here I want to show you one more thing before we go. Uh, here, look at this. Those are actually lettuce growing out from the side of the uh, you know soil the bed here uh, we grew some of the lettuce here last season uh, so i guess the seed spilled over and guess what they actually germinate and grow and also i will harvest this this here all right this is such a beautiful red i like this texture of it it has a nice wrinkly texture just beautiful and it's ready to harvest uh, quickly let me turn around and show you this um, this is one of the spots uh, that I bury the kitchen scrap and I believe it has some of the shrimp shell I think in here so as you can see this little spot here I don't know if you can see that see that from this angle from this angle here it looked like there's a little depression here, there's a little hole here. This here, I can tell you that it's come from uh, some critter at night time. They come here and they start digging some of this up. So I buried pretty deep, but it's still trying to dig up some of the stuff here. Uh, so remember, if you're going to bury some of the kitchen scrap, uh, especially uh, some of that contain... Um, you know, raw fish, uh, shrimp, anything that it's really 
uh, animal product, you need to bury them a little bit deeper, maybe at least 12 to 14 inches below the, the soil line. Um, so the smell will not, you know, will not be detected by the animal. Uh, I, I guess that the animal will detect them eventually if they really try to. Uh, but if you, if you bury them deeper, it would definitely help to mask the, the odor. Okay, so here I got this new little spade here. This is a beautiful spade here. Uh, and I used to dig my uh, hole here. It's a 14 inch spade. It's such a beautiful spade here. Um, okay, so I will try to put this soil back. Um, and hopefully <laughs> after several days, uh, the, the food will decompose and, it won't, and the animal will not show up again. All right, so that's it for this video. I uh, just want to show you a little update on our, our garden here. Not much is growing. Uh, I will be planting some of the stuff this weekend. Uh, and one more thing, and let me turn around. So remember this little chili plant here? Still going, it's still producing. The other two big one uh, actually fell, you know, and actually, actually collapsed because it doesn't have any support. As you can see, uh, it grow out from the little edge you know from the wall here so it doesn't have any support and it was like four feet tall and had tons of chili on it and it just fell over uh, the wind just blew it and it fell over and now it's, there's actually one too it's a little small one here and that small one there uh, and there's plenty of little you know chili here green and red nice huh all right that's it for our video for today uh thank you for watching uh, and please tune in and we will continue to update you guys uh, on our garden. Thank you for watching. Please help subscribe to our video. We'll see you soon.